speaking of another cutie, and speaking of wine, our next guest is putting summer twist on wine drinking. She is a cutie. She, and she is she a cutie. She just had a birthday. Friend of the show and host of Good Taste TV, Tangie Patton, joins us now with some adult slushies that are easy to make. Tangie, it is so great to see you. Happy belated birthday. Yes. Oh, thank you. And thank I know you. that typically you're so busy. Like, people see Good Taste with TV, or Good Taste TV, Good Taste with Tangie on weekends, but that actually takes a lot of time for you guys to shoot and film. And I know in the middle of summer, that's what you've been doing. That's what we've been doing in the middle of summer, in the middle of COVID. Uh, it's been crazy. We've been traveling all over the state, uh, meeting these amazing small business owners, restaurant owners that are working harder, I dare say, than they ever have before. I'm and sure. the beautiful, rewarding thing is so many of the customers, the diners, uh, are going to extreme measures to help keep them in business. So this is going to be our best season yet. We're very excited about it. Um, we've got some great stories to share. So, so great. I know, great and stuff. you do such a great job, Tangie. I know I visited a few of your favorite in Round Top, and um, all of those restauranteurs are they are so excited uh, when people walk in their doors and, and really want to support uh, what's going on. Of course, small business, everybody kind of locking arms together, and you're great at shining that spotlight on those people. But um, okay, you had us with wine slushies. Oh my word, Tanji, you got to break it down for us because this is so easy to do and so good. It's crazy easy to do. And I got to tell you, Courtney, you have really put the pressure on knowing that my segment and me maybe and the slushies popped up in your dream. I mean, you've taken yes. pressure to a whole new level. So. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've been, I've been wanting to taste them since this early, early morning. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of those segments where you do all the research and it's a lot of fun. And the real truth of this is, these are the simplest things you'll ever make. Uh, the sky is truly the limit on your imagination of what you want to make them with, what fruit flavors. There's so many beautiful fruits in season right now that you can really come up with some fun creations. And I've added a few variations that uh, take them even to another level that I really enjoyed the flavors, and I think you will too. I'm going to start out with one of everyone's favorite and probably the most popular is the rosé. Mm, yes. And I'm using this. You can use any rosé. Some people prefer uh, a rosé maybe made with Pinot Noir or some of the bigger grapes uh, from, from Italy, but any Pinot Noir works. I found this. I don't know if you're familiar with Stella Rosa wines. They're a little on the fruity side, so they're perfect for this kind of thing. This is a ruby ruby grapefruit mm. uh, wine. So this already brings a lot of the fun citrus components to it. And then I'm going to add strawberries and some, some minor things to it. Tip number one, freeze the wine the night before you need it. Because of the alcohol content in wine, it's not going to give you a solid product to work yeah. with. It's always going to be a little bit slushy even after it's been in the freezer overnight. So we're gonna start with, and this is gonna get a little messy, the uh, somewhat frozen, my hands are plain, but the good news is you guys don't have to drink this, <laughs> uh, the frozen wine. And again, it's going to be slushy, it's going to be messy. You would normally use a spoon, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna toss it out there. And for this one, I'm gonna add some strawberries. They add some beautiful color and they add some fruit. A little bit of lemon. Sometimes acidity helps almost everything you cook. And if you want more of a sweet flavor, add a little sugar. If not, let the wine do its work. I think on this one with the... Just blend it up. And your strawberries, are they frozen or fresh? You know, I did not freeze these. You can. Okay. And if you freeze them, it's probably a good idea because you will come up with a, a more frozen product. Okay. This is one um, I made earlier today and kept in the freezer. But as you can see, they just look so inviting. It's so it's such a pretty color. They taste fantastic. It's also kind of a trendy thing right now, Tangie. It like is. We went to Austin a couple weeks ago, and we're, they're like, oh, do you want the frosé at the bar by the pool? They were $13 yeah, oh, oh, a piece yeah. for a tiny oh, cup. So yeah. when you make it at home, you also save a bundle. Oh, you do? Well, yes, because none of the wines I use, and I would never use an expensive wine to do this with, are, you know, $15 or less, 10 bucks. I think that Stella Rose is like 12 bucks at HEB. It's nothing. Right. And it's really good. Now, this is fantastic as well. It is a frozen, a frozen sangria. And oh. the beauty of this one is you start with the sangria product in a bottle. Okay. 
so that you've got all the different fruit in there. This is the one, HEB sells it in this size, and then they sell it in a double bottle size as well, Don Simone. It's fantastic. It's perfect for this. And all I've done with this one is I did freeze these blackberries. Which it are really great for vitamin C. And blackberries are just luscious anyway. So same process with that. We take it out. Now this one, I wanted to add something a little different, and I'm going to add a little bit of whipped topping to it. After you pour it in the glass, if, you, if you're entertaining, you want this to be kind of a cool presentation, pour your glasses, stick them in the freezer for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and let them get solidified once again, and then top with a little whipped topping. Oh, and I know that. it sounds crazy, but no, it that's tastes gonna be good. amazing. It That's really good. good. I mean, whipped cream it's makes everything better. So I know, it and certainly does. One, okay, uh, Tanji, we have about a minute left, and I know okay. we're also in peach season or getting, right? We are in peach season. A little past it. A little right? past, yeah. No, they're still out there. So this is the next one. This is a perfect yes. peach slushy. It's a perfect peach slushy. The beautiful thing about this is you can use peaches, you can use the mangoes, mangoes, however you say it. Uh, the, man the mangoes or the mangoes, we are from Texas, right now are fantastic. And so you can do the same process, pick a fun, zesty wine. Layer Cake makes some great white wines. This is their Sauvignon Blanc, love it. And you can add ice cream to it or do it all by itself. So I did it with a little ice cream to compare to the fresh fruit and honestly, I loved the one with ice cream. I, you don't see that very often, right. and it really, really was good. And all the wines always at HEB is where I got them, in, and they're very inexpensive. Tangie Patton, thank you so much for the ideas. Congrats on the new season of Good Taste, and we hope to see you here in Studio B very well, soon. thanks, you guys. And I owe Courtney a belated birthday wish as well, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, friend. Great to see you. And I like that peach one. It reminds me of a dreamsicle almost oh, with yeah. that ice cream in it. By the way, I know we went through all these recipes, but Tangie's slushy recipes are on our website. If you want to try it this weekend, be sure to share your pics with us as well. Oh, yeah, just use the hashtag HoustonLifeTV. Very nice. And